guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, today we're in the shop right here on the bench and uh, I wanna go over a few things. I've gotten a lot of calls about the Raven 440 controller and uh, hopefully we're able to help you guys out with those Raven issues. Uh, we work a lot with 440s, 450s, and 460s here at Fennig Equipment and we hope we can help you guys out when you're in the field. Maybe you can't get that valve to close all the way Maybe uh, you've got the wrong valve plugged in on the back side, or any questions you might have, give us a call on those. But I wanna go over an extremely common pain point with 440s and uh, whenever you're troubleshooting your Raven and just understanding the whole system. And what I've got here in my hand is a flow meter. This is a Raven 100P flow meter. It's common on liquid. So you might see this on your sprayer. Um, your applicator or planter would probably have a little bit smaller one. But on your Raven 440, 450, whatever it is, it's gonna have a meter cow button. And in that number, or in that meter cow, you have to enter in a number. And that number is on a tag here on the flow meter. It's located, actually stickered onto the, the tag. If it's not on there, um, I suggest in the off season sending this away to get calibrated so that you can get a meter cow number. Um, but it's always on there from the factory and uh, we're gonna go over how to find your meter cow and which one to use, because it can be confusing. There's three stickers on here. You need to figure out which one is best for you. So for example, on this particular one, meter cow, if you can read that, is 1,330 gallons. So you punch in 1,330 into your Raven flow meter, you're gonna be way off. And you say, well, why is that? That's the number on my sticker. That's what Raven's telling me to punch in. How can I be way off? The secret is on the back of the sticker. On the back of the sticker, it says that that number on the front is pulses per 10 gallons, and the Raven is doing it per one gallon. So you're gonna be applying one-tenth of the rate um, if you actually, uh, I'm sorry, 10 times the rate if you plug in 1,330. Um, so what we need to do here is divide that by 10 and your meter cal is now 1,330. And that, was, that is on liquid and that is on this particular flow meter. Almost every flow meter has got a different cal number because that number is pulses of the impeller. Inside of the here, there's an impeller and this is reading the pulses of that impeller. It's how many pulses of the impeller equals one gallon. So as this thing's spinning, it's counting. One up to 133, and that 133rd one, that equals one gallon. That's how it knows, that's how it measures volume. And so as it's spinning, it's counting all that. So you have to tell the Raven how many pulses to count to equal one gallon to get your correct gallons per acre. The flow meter is doing a lot for you in this system and understanding what it's doing and the components of it are extremely critical. This is something I get a lot of questions on and uh, it's something that's really common. Your parts to this unit is you've got the actual sensor, you've got the impeller inside. Um, there are ways to test this or at least test the wiring going back um, we can walk through that over the phone if, you're, if you were to call in. Now, the other one I want to talk about is the anhydrous flow meter. I don't have one right here in my hands, but on the anhydrous side, that one gets even trickier yet because it's going to have a sticker on there of 720 some is going to be the, the meter cow. Well, 720 is uh, gallons. Um, whereas in anhydrous, we're doing actual pounds of nitrogen. So we have to convert that number. So if you punch in 720 into your Raven on anhydrous, you're going to be off. Uh, you're going to be applying 4.22 times more than what you should be. So we need to divide that 720 by 4.22 to get the actual pounds of nitrogen in a gallon. And so your, typically your number comes out on anhydrous to be around 160, 170 is where it's gonna land on that. So if it's not on the tag, give us a call. We can talk it over in here. But the flow meter is an extremely crucial part 
of that Raven 440 system and understanding that. So as you're punching those in, boom cow, that is your overall width in inches. From there, we go to speed cow. That is the speed calibration number. For me, I only use the Raven Ash, or I only use the Astro Hockey Puck Speed Sensor. It's got a number of 743. Um, that's the one I use. From there, you're gonna go to meter cow, which is what we just went over. From there, you'll go to valve cow. If it's a fast valve uh, or a standard valve, standard valve would be 2123. And that's on a sticker on the valve. From there, you'll go to uh, your rate cow, rate one, rate two, and so on and so forth. So once all those things are plugged in, the Raven 440 can do its math on the speed, the width, what the flow meter is telling it to get you your correct rate. So that's what we're doing today, talking flow meters on the Raven controllers. If you need anything, give Fenning Equipment a call, and thanks for tuning in.